Well, hello everybody. I am Taryn, and this is for version point ninety nine s. I have added a bunch of new features, uh, actually just a few, and reintroduced some other features that you may not have ever seen, because somehow I ruined them at some point. <laughs> so one of the old new features is uh, the border conditions, and that you toggle through when you hit F four. Ta da that's a repeat. And that doesn't show much right now, but there you go. So that actually transfers the fluids even across the borders. So you can get neat repeat patterns. You see the uh, box right now because of the lighting. And because I'm lazy, I'm just going to turn the bump down and I'm going to bring the light into the center. And. Hmm, what happens when I bring it up? Maybe the glossiness down. Oh, that's enough. And then you can say you can see you can make some funny repeating patterns that way. It's really kind of fun. Ta da! So, <laughs> at some point you almost forget where the borders are. <laughs> yeah. Ta da! So, there's that. And then there's mirrored repeat. So, and this kind of stuff, uh, I'm showing this like it is nothing special, but if you're anything like me, <laughs> then there's a decent chance that you end up doing this for a long time, <laughs> just because it's actually really, really fun. Uh, I don't know very enjoyable somehow, especially when you go full screen. I can do that real quick. If, if you hit F, F3, <laughs> you toggle between uh, full screen and windowed mode. And I think I might have mentioned that before, I'm not sure, but yeah, so, there's that. And that can be loads and loads of fun. <laughs> yep. Boop, boop, boop. And while I'm at it, <laughs> so, let's go back to our normal display here. So, uh, oh yeah, and back to windowed mode because the recording really slows down when I when it has to capture the whole screen. This is uh, 2500 by uh, 1620, uh, something like that. Really big resolution at this time in human history, I think. <laughs> Soon enough, he said 2500 by something is a really big resolution. Oh, how cute. Anyway, so there's that. Uh, yeah, well, while I'm on the fluids, I've changed the fluid sharpness now that when you go down, it actually, the softness is now really nice. It's really soft and really fast. Uh, anyway, overall, all the fluids are a lot faster now. I came up with a new kind of solution for that that uh, is a rather, I think it makes a rather dramatic speed up. So even at high resolutions, this performs nicely, and uh, even on old machines, it should be a bit more bearable now. <laughs> Let's put it like this. It's still not going to be light speed, but yeah, just rather more pleasant. So enough of the green stuff. <laughs> and there. Ooh, that is a rare, rarely ugly color. That was a very rarely ugly color combination. <laughs> That's pretty again, I think. Uh, okay, so that was exactly the border conditions, right? So, oh, home and back to normal. Uh, what else? Yep, the fluid sharpness. So just to give a bit of a demonstration here. Uh, yeah. So this is with the full-on sharpness. Yeah, like those. And if I go down, you see, with the new softness, you get much more soft lines as well, which is kind of a neat side effect. That's now a Gaussian distribution, if you wanted, if you cared to know. And a much, much faster single iteration blur, so to say, which is why it is so fast. So. 
not sure if the recording really will show that, but it's the same as always. Uh, okay, but now for the really fun stuff, and that is uh, the new warp mode. So now I've added that you can actually do a image warp. We make some lines here so you can see that a bit more clearly. And Control W brings you into into the warp mode. And uh, for that, just to make sure that you understand, oh, you're in warp. I added a little border here. See? Dip, dip, dip. So once you're in warp, it's probably best if you start using just a normal round brush like one or six. And you can see what it does now is it doesn't change the painting itself. It only changes the coordinates on the screen for the painting. So you basically push around the image coordinates, so to say, like altering the map, the UV map, so to say. Yep. And that can lead to some very <laughs> pop art effects. <laughs> yep. uh, if you hold down control, like you would normally do for erase, it actually just returns the coordinates back to their original values as you brush over them, like so. Ta-da! <laughs> Other funny side effects is the average also still works. I basically left all the features that made some kind of sense for the brushing. And what it does is <laughs> it inflates. It's kind of a neat effect, I think. <laughs> it can also be quite useful at times. There you go. That's just fun. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Ah, yeah, that way you can see the border nicely. So, uh, undo will, after you enter, uh, after you exit the warp mode, undo will be a toggle between your warped result and your original painting there. Uh, so, there's that. And the other thing, too, is if you hit Control Shift W, it will reapply the the warp or it should at least but it betrays me why did it not uh, what did i do now <laughs> did i just oh that was funny oh doesn't matter anyway yeah normally that uh, 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 i don't know uh, that is useful for applying the same warp to other layers. If you had uh, more than one layer here, maybe there's other layer and another layer. Uh, and put some nonsense here. And then you can reapply the warp as many times as you like. And you get some crazy effects. So, so yeah, um, the warping. Uh, maybe I should just load to some funny image. Oh, <laughs> see, I already saved it. I made some daily sketches recently, and one of them was really fun. That was the moon child. Kind of cute. Unfortunately, it's uh, it's portrait. Uh, so that's a little uh, unfortunately for YouTube, I think. But it's kind of fun. Um, oh, especially with... <laughs> What just happened to her? <laughs> okay, so yeah, oh, you know, <laughs> uh, back. Yeah, and you can just warp stuff around, of course, just make adjustments or you know, and they are not destructive at all at this stage, and so it's really kind of fun to goof around with that. But I mean, you all know, or you can imagine what you can do with this. I think what's of course the most f freaky about this is oh wow no, I really made her mad maybe I can make her evil there yeah. <laughs> look what happened to the sweet girl <laughs> okay so yeah what's fun about this what was it ah, so of course the fact that you can use the fluids of course it's always fun and that you can erase again or average out. There you go. Oops. <laughs> that is really bizarre. Boink. Yeah, all the classics. Ah, yeah, and uh, of course, the point with being able to reapply it is see if I do this. 
wobbly stars over here and I for some odd reason think that's okay and then I can go to another layer and apply this point C and everything is gonna be warped the same way Control shift W but again my undo uh, implementation is the highly wanting I left it highly wanting so for example right now during the warping inside of the warp mode you don't have an undo so that's kind of annoying of course so, but I'll change all of that that'll come eventually it's a prototype I've just written it yesterday and today and so but I thought it's fun enough to release it <laughs> plus it's actually quite useful because you can you know flip your image around and nudge stuff around however you need it it's oftentimes when you just paint you sort of accidentally make the whole image lean it's very typical it happens I, i'm not sure if it happens to you but i can promise you that happens to me <laughs> a lot of my pictures lean to some side and so this is a, a great chance to kind of pretend that you knew it better without having to have known it better there. And then you get immediately, of course, a different kind of stability, more balance into the painting. I don't have to tell you why that's good. I think you understand perfectly well. So there's that. Warp. Uh, and that's pretty much it, I think. For now, just for a quick look at what's going on. I think I've made a bunch of... Ah, yeah, one other thing I've done. Yeah, right, I almost forgot. Oh, maybe I go to a different format again. Oh, yeah, I still didn't hook up uh, simple... Nah. Uh, custom resolution gadget. So, yeah, you still have to toggle through the resolution. And that's going to change soon as well. So another thing I've added is I've added a sharpening mode, uh, not mode, uh, a brush. So in fact, it's a brush option, goes for all brushes. Uh, you know the blur option? Yeah, no. If you want to use this, of course, you could just use it like this and it just happens underneath the brush. But if you really want to just blur something, I would turn the fluidity to zero and the opacity to zero and then you can just brush over areas and then they blur away like so. There you go, see? Dup, 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 dup. So, that's that. But what I hooked up is if you hold down control now again, then it does the opposite, it sharpens. Now the thing is, uh, on a painting, normally it should actually be sharp enough already but I guess especially later when we import things you know as soon as I hook up that stuff then the sharpening might become more interesting the the sharpening I have implemented is extremely lousy it's very primitive little convolution basically so what happens is if you exaggerate it it can easily go out of whack because it just accumulates and then you get this <laughs> funny thing sometimes which is borderline magical is if you blur again and <laughs> you get like this great colored grain <laughs> anyway nothing good there's nothing good to say about this <laughs> it's terrible but it's there just in case you want it uh what else Ooh, i think that pretty much covers it for right now <laughs> It's always fun again to just goof around here, of course. Yeah. Especially if you can do some really, really crazy things with the warp. I'm just going to turn to warp while it is actually... That's kind of neat. See, turning back and forth between warp mode and normal paint mode. There. You get some curious effects if you wanted them. So that's the latest. That's version 99S. Again, you can get it from my website, and I promise you, it is not a virus. I still couldn't really quite figure out what on earth is going on with all these hyper-paranoid virus killers out there. 
and I, I wish I would know what exactly they are looking for and how I could possibly avoid that. One of these days I'll figure it out, maybe. But until then, you kind of have to, you know, report the false positive or whatever is necessary in order to help the situation out a little bit. Yeah. That's that. <laughs> Yay. Okay. So I hope I see you soon again. And come join the forum, of course, as always. And see what's, what's, what's cooking. What's cooking. Yeah, people do crazy stuff. There's, again, a whole set of fantastic new images and so many great ideas. And uh, we even started a little uh, inspiration thread, which I think is quite fantastic. Uh, just uh, links to other artists, to uh, classics and, and uh, different art styles. And I thought it's extremely inspiring. Quite fun then to play around with Verf and trying to pull that off. Oh, yeah, that might, uh, I could show you this. This is one interesting thing I thought. There's this, what, uh, what uh, is it, Wolfgang Block? Blocky. Uh, anyway, his he has these surf wave images. They're beautiful. So I just basically made a painting based on this his inspiration. And it's great. Verf is just so much fun for exactly that stuff. And then there's the, oh wow, that's a fascinating. <laughs> How cool! It's warping with the with the uh, fractal noise brush. <laughs> Fascinating effects too. Uh, anyway, so there's that. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Yep, very, very. It's getting bigger piece by piece, but fu funny enough, not so much in its kilobyte size. It's still well underneath 300 kilobytes. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, I shouldn't act so surprised, but it's fun too. So, okay, well, in that spirit, I hope, again, I hope to see you soon and uh, do some verving. would be great. I'd be thrilled to see what you're up to and to see you on the forum. Okay, bye for now.